Mosques typically have minarets. These tall spires you see on the side of the dome, originally functioning as illuminated watchtowers, their primary function now is a podium for the Muazin to call the faithful to prayer five times a day. The interesting thing about the Sultan Ahmad Mosque, also known as the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, is that it has six minarets. At the time it was completed in 1616, the only other mosque with six minarets was the Grand Mosque in Mecca. To avoid criticism, Sultan Ahmad paid for the construction of a seventh minaret at the Grand Mosque of Mecca. As you can see, Muazin now used loudspeakers to announce the call to prayer. But I wanted to try it the old school way. A little exercise before we do the minaret. New workout program. I'm going to take this home to Los Angeles. Climbing the minaret, where we're going to do the call to prayer. Well, it's pitch black up here. It's very steep. I'm a little terrified. Okay, I'm okay. Um, does anyone have any advice? Uh, dude, it's dark and there are birds flying in my face and I can't see them. <laughs> I mean, would a pigeon really attack me? Or will he fly away? Do you think he's just scared? Birdie! Birdie, birdie. I'm your friend. I'm here to free you. Ah! We got a problem. He's not a nice pigeon. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Well worth it. Welcome to Istanbul. Wow. This is the money. What's fascinating about the call to prayer, which people don't understand, is its unifying theme. For at the same time across the country, anyone who's in this time zone, people are calling out to others to prepare themselves, to clean themselves for prayer. And then everyone cleanses and then faces Mecca and bows in the same direction. So it's a very collective consciousness activity. But I mean, if you think about it, this sound is crossing an entire country, half the world. <laughs> 